It's on a really funny film about sibling rivalry. Th and thank congrats you. on finishing it. I know you had a couple other projects come up yep. in the meantime. Yes. Um, but so many people have great ideas and they never implement them. Um, so once you decide on a movie, you know, it's a huge commitment. How long do you spend, the two of you, kicking around an idea before you actually manifest it? Um, well, we definitely, um, it's a good question. We, we do spend a ton of time. I mean, most of that, our energy goes into um, constantly talking about an idea and, and making sure that it has the weight and the heft to to, to carry us for two years mm -hmm. because we're very picky people and you know we we get fussy really easily so we have to totally be in love with it and know that it has the depth and the breadth to, to explore for that long. Got it right. Um, so many people in LA want to be where you are. And they, right in these chairs? Well, yeah, <laughs> probably right in these chairs, right in front of yeah. yeah, but but in terms of you know No I'm kidding, yeah you know, where you are success-wise, and so many people don't realize the hustle that it takes. We know we've talked to you before that sometimes you don't get vacations. Mm -hmm. You're working, I mean, Mark, you're constantly busy. So how are you handling envy? It's a very, very, sort of, the, it's that elephant in the room that people don't want to talk about in this industry, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. very, very true. How do you handle that graciously, or maybe not so graciously? You know, I mean, it's interesting. I think that on paper, our careers look really, really great, and they would be appetizing to to a lot of people, you know. But I think that also once people start to get close to us and realize, you know, how hard we work and how grueling it is, and how even though it looks like we're having a blast all day on set improvising, it's really hard work and kind of stressful too, you know. Uh, I think the envy comes way down <laughs> at that point, um, and they realize it's as hard as any other job, you know. Um, but you know, when you live in Los Angeles, it's a it's a town full of filmmakers and actors, and and there are definitely moments, you know, where you where you run into people who are, are less successful than you, and and you can feel that, you know, um, and and I mean, I guess, you know, the only thing I can say is that we're still envious of tons of filmmakers too, and we're doing it to other people as well, and and I, th I guess every profession has it to a certain degree. It's like a karmic wheel. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Everybody wants what they don't have. So sure. That's very true. Sure. Yeah. Anything to add? Yeah, I totally agree with Mark about that. And I, w I would just say that um, we are um, constantly obsessed and challenging ourselves to make better things and to make um, different things and to just explore different issues. And you know, uh, we're we're doing this because we love it and because we, um, you know kind of are obsessed by it so we actually don't really even pause very much or enough to to really consider those elements that much like Mark said you do feel it and it will occur to you every once in a while but um, we constantly feel like we're climbing a mountain and that we are underdogs trying to you know trying to do something new and trying to do something different and we feel like making a really good film is an almost impossible task no matter who you are I mean you know, we saw an interview um, with Francis Ford Coppola, who in the 80s uh, said that his his goal currently was to make an original piece of art, which he felt he hadn't done in 10 years, and that n just just knocked us over and um, made us realize that it's always a struggle to make a unique, special piece of art. I mean, we worked with Susan Sarandon recently on Jeff Who Lives at Home, and she showed up on set and was nervous as hell and was, you know, um, taking chances and falling on her face and it was just, it's, it, it was revitalizing and invigorating and scary as hell too because you realize that like nobody's, nobody's um, got it locked up. You know, everyone is constantly trying to, to, to make something original, to mine the depths of their own being and, and you know, um, that quest for me and Mark is never ending um, so I don't know it, it's we we always feel like we're doing it for the first time <laughs>